Yeah. Guys, before we start this, go and cop yourself one and you take the first bite. Shirt or a nice one. <laughs> also, what is your favorite meal? Put it down below there because one Sunday, I will match for you. And guys, suggestion has to be under my main comment to be in the draw. Lucky number 26 will be chosen for the next Sunday. This Sunday, Afghan food from Mira AFG, or Afghan for short, I believe. Hey, <laughs> Kabuli Palau. This is a traditional Afghan dish. Let me do it my version. All right, guys, my version. Try to accept it! Kabule Palau. Let's tear this chicken up. I know everyone will throw in the whole chicken, but I'm just gonna do the backbone. Chicken ass. For this marinade, graham masala, salt, pepper, paprika, turmeric, oh, half cup of olive oil. And I got some fake lemon juice here, which I'm just gonna throw in. Not your traditional way of making it, but my way, guys. <laughs> Start up of the Kabuli Palau. So I got one onion here. Just roughly chopped, guys. All right, we're gonna saute this as we wait for that to brown. Got some garlic here. Which I'm just gonna mince. Onions caramelized, guys. I got two wings in, the backbone, and we gotta sacrifice the ass just to make a good stock. First seasoning I'm gonna do is just salt and pepper, guys. A teaspoon of paprika, graham masala, turmeric, ground cardamom, cumin seeds, two quarts of water. Finish it off with a half tablespoon of salt. And we're just gonna let that sit for an hour. I got basmati rice soaking in water for an hour as well before we start boiling it. Toppings, guys. I got a madeleine right here. And I'm just gonna grate it into matchsticks. Don't copy me and go my speed, guys. <laughs> so toppings would be fried carrots. Traditionally, guys, there's not gonna be any fried potato, but I'm gonna change the game up a bit. After five minutes, I'm gonna take it out, let it drain, let the oil heat up again before we're throwing it again. Second time around, everybody in the pool. This should fry up faster this time. Only took two minutes to brown up, guys. Next, guys, I got trail mix here. This might look weird or sound weird, but to buy raisins and nuts separately is more expensive than buying this whole pack, so I just got unsalted trail mix. I'm just gonna fry it. Once fried, guys, only took like two minutes to fry. I'm gonna take it out. Last but not least, guys, the carrots. Basmati in. 15 minutes max on the basmati. I'm just gonna drain it. Remember that broth we had not too long ago? Just gonna dump it on top. Of the basmati rice, oil here with the carrot and everything. I'm just gonna do half a cup of this. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of sugar, and we're just gonna crystallize or caramelize the sugar before we throw it into our rice. Just want most of that sugar, and not that oil. So I'm just gonna try to filter most of it out and do. Dump that in our rice. Guys, I got ground masala. All right, it's about ready to be served. So I'm just gonna stir this up before I start plating. Chicken's almost done. It's been steaming in its own broth or the chicken broth for about 30 minutes, guys. So all the rice to be coated. All that goodness. First things first, guys, I'm gonna throw my rice down. Don't be scared to make the best bed of rice ever. More masala powder, ground cardamom on top. Under a chicken. Chicken breast with the skin on. I 
Got some of that sauteed onions here, which we did saute in the beginning for our stock. I just did not throw it away. Goodness. Fried potatoes. Sorry if this is not tradition, guys. Just wanted to sit up a bit. Get uh, raisins or trail mix and nuts. Crispy sugar coating I made in that oil there. It actually just turned into candy. Which is all good. A little green. Got some cilantro here. Throw out the color. There it is. We're done. There it is, guys. Afghani Kabuli Palau. My version of it. Complete. It's go time. Time to eat. I got a plate. I throw on our rice. Some beans. Or not beans. Some seeds. Get some candy later. Get some onion right there. Get some carrots right there. And let's grab some chicken breasts. And we'll grab a thigh for Neil. All right, let's go. Here's the thing, guys. I cut my finger right here, so I cannot eat my hand. I well, I could, but it will sting. It would be kind of rude for me to Give you guys the first bite with a cut finger so i do i did run out of band-aids though <laughs> and i just don't want to risk it all right guys more sanitized than nothing here kabuli palau guys so chicken and rice pretty much like an indian biryani but afghani style take the first bite let's go yes. hmm wow guys chicken Quick time, guys. You just got it. Nice! Just beautiful. Guys, the carrots and the seeds. Quick time, guys. When you got it in your mouth. Nice! Mmm! That's flavor right there. A piece of the sugar candy. <laughs> Even though I have my twist on this, guys, the potatoes on this, <laughs> so bombs. Wow. This might not look like a traditional Kalua Palau, but this is truly amazing. Hmm. I do just want to eat with my hand. Look, as I see it. There's four, six razor blades on each finger. Some goop there. Hmm. If you guys are Afghani, please do tell me what to improve because I'm always open to learn guys always give me some time to explain why I did it like put in your input 
and I will put in my input on how I went about with this. It's a better way to learn, I'll say so. It's better than to like point at somebody and be like, haha, you did it wrong. <laughs> I get that a lot. Like you did it wrong. Explain how. Then I'll explain my way. I seen it. Then I'll explain my way on approaching it. It's easier to point and laugh than try and explain why, right? I'll say this in cooking guys, lots of variation, tons of variation on approaching a lot of things. So I'm always open, willing to learn all the time. Just don't point enough. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Back to the buffet. So we got some dark meat on, some rice, and some carrots and some seeds. Beautiful. A little more. Beautiful. Let's do it. Hmm. 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 Wow, wow. That's so bomb. Hmm. This is what I would want everybody to do. Go out and try something new, guys. Even if it's scary, just go out and try something new. Like me. You guys, some of you guys caught me. I never had Taco Bell since I was a kid. And when I went into Taco Bell, I just didn't know what to order. <laughs> and some of you guys caught me on that. I got, I probably got the most original stuff that you can possibly get. Hmm. And some of you guys caught me on that. But that was very funny. Hmm. 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 Back to the buffet, guys. So, uh, one more scoop of rice. Let's do two scoops of rice. Let's do some white meat this time. Let's do this bad boy right here. Where's that skin? All right, let's do it. Some carrots. All right, let's do it. So hopefully this white meat is still juicy. Oh yeah. Look at that. Check that out, guys. Hey, see that? No dry chicken in this household. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. The cilantro. So perfumey. Hmm. Wow. Food, life, culture, it's just a beautiful thing, guys. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. Wow. That's so bomb, guys. <laughs> Kitty! Got a nice haircut. What? Are you sleepy? Hmm? Look at you. You got a nice haircut, Kitty. Yeah! Hey! You hungry? I got nothing for you, though. Get out of here! That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to cop yourself one of your take the first bite shirts or a nice one like this. Share this. Peace out.